welcome back to DIY Builds, the great state of Texas. My name is Phil, your host, and today we're going to be talking about antennas um, for your project. I decided to do this subject because I was on YouTube looking at a bunch of videos of some of you guys doing some absolutely fantastic, beautiful builds out there. But a couple things concerned me that uh, kind of got my attention. I thought I would just try to share some information. Um, not all antennas are the same. And depending on your project, just like you take your time picking your speakers and your components, if you're going to have an FM radio or even a full-blown car radio in your project, you're going to need to choose the right antenna. So we'll talk about antennas in just a minute. Let me get everything together and we'll get started. All right, everybody, we're back. And you see here, I've got my wife's uh, radio. That's one of the first radios I built. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to rebuild this one. I actually ordered a new box and the AM FM radio is going to be going away because she only listens to FM. So we're going to move the voltage meter and everything up to the top. This is going away and the four inch speakers that are on the sides are going to be moving to the front. But anyway, I got this out because I wanted to show you that on the back here we do have an antenna because it's AM FM radio. Now this is a plastic box and that's one of the things I noticed when I was uh, looking on YouTube that some of the guys had wooden boxes or plastic boxes and they were using regular car antennas. Now this is the smallest one I could find uh, matter of fact, this is similar to one I have in my metal uh, toolbox build. But this is a car antenna. So let me kind of give you a little antenna 101. Let me move this out of the way temporarily. A lot of people don't realize that an antenna is just like any circuit that you have in a 12 volt system. You have a hot or a positive and a negative side. And on these antennas here, uh, the outside of the casing here where it plugs in is the negative, and the tip there is the positive. Now, the, what, most people think that, okay, on a car, that's the antenna. No, this is only half the antenna. The other half on a, a car antenna is actually the car. The car is what's called the ground plane. This is called the aerial, and this would be, think of this as the positive side of your antenna. And the ground plane, or the grounding, where the metal here attaches to the car here, you see this metal base here, that's actually the negative side. That's why you, it, it works because your car's chassis is grounded through the battery. So that completes the circuit. You have the positive and the negative. And so you can see the problem is if you mount this antenna onto a wooden box or a plastic box like this one right here, if you were to do that, the problem is the base is touching plastic, so you just lost half your antenna. You don't have the ground plane on the antenna. So if you hook this into a wooden box or a metal box, I mean, I mean sorry, a wooden box or a plastic box, it would work okay, but you really wouldn't pull in a lot of distance stations. The stations wouldn't come in very good because, again, you've only got half the antenna. Now, these are perfect for you guys that are building the... Uh, ammunition boxes that are metal, or the metal toolboxes, and these are very flexible. And another thing I saw a guy do, the guy had this beautiful, beautiful setup, and he just took a piece of wire, let's see if I have some, he just, he just took a piece of wire and stuck it in there as the antenna. Come on, guys. I mean, if you're going to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on your build, you know, don't spend 50 cents on your antenna. Your antenna is just as important as the rest of your build. This is as important as your speakers, your amp, all of your components. So if you're going to put a regular, don't, don't cheap out in your antenna. I mean, that's like putting a hubcap on a tractor. So, like I said, this is a car antenna. Works great for a car, works great for the metal boxes. But if you're going to use plastic or wood, what you need to do is upgrade to... A marine antenna. Now, these are made for boats and uh, marine applications, RVs, and because um, your RVs and your boats are usually made of fiberglass, so they're not made to attach to metal. So if you see this little piece right here, that's the way it's a little thicker, right here at the bottom, that's called the ground plane. 
this is what takes the place of the car. The antenna actually stops right here. And this is where the bottom part of the antenna, I don't know if you can see it's coiled right there. There's actually a, a coil of wire that wraps around there. If you were to uncoil that, it's a very, very long wire. They've compressed it on here to basically act as the other half of your antenna. And this antenna is fantastic for your plastic boxes. And like I said, you can see this one right here. This is a marine antenna that I have hooked up here. And it works fantastic on this project. Uh, picks up all the all the radio stations, even this you know, low-end boss radio. It works perfectly fine. And attaches to your project. And you can adjust this any, any way you want by adjusting the screw. Uh, you can actually put it on top. And if you guys see my zombie build, I actually have the antenna on top going straight up. So they work fantastic. Now there's a couple of different designs. Uh, this one here obviously has the the ball and everything and has the, the antenna hardwired into it. Another style, not my favorite, but it'll work. Um, this is another style they sell. And it's got a little nut right here at the bottom. And the wire actually screws into this little part right here bolts down. Actually it goes like this and you put a little nut through there and tighten it up. And it'll work just fine. This one here is actually quite flexible. As you can see I actually had this one on my cooler project but I decided to put the antenna on the inside. But that's just another antenna option. Again it's got an adjustable screw here. You can adjust this antenna to any position. You can have it 90 degrees like you saw on the other project. But it works really really well. And they come in black and white. Now, some of you are saying, well, you know, what if I don't want a black antenna or white antenna? Can I paint this? Yes, you can. And I'll tell you a couple of tips. If you want to paint it, I suggest you start with a white antenna. The reason is because the color is going to look brighter on the white antenna. Paint it. Now, the trick to painting antennas, though, you have to keep in mind, you cannot use any type of glitter or metal flake paint on the antenna because the metal in the paint is going to reflect the signal and not let the antenna absorb the signal, and you're going to get poor reception. So, as long as you use a regular spray paint that does not have metal flakes in it or any type of aluminum or, or glitter, you're perfectly fine. I mean, I wanted to paint my antenna on my new project, but unfortunately the paint that I'm going to use for my project has metal flakes in it. So because my box is gray, I'm just going to just stick with the black antenna. This is actually the antenna for the Mega Boom box you guys have been looking at. Now there is one more antenna option that you can do, and give me just a minute, let me go get my other project, and I'll show you what's involved in that. Alright guys, we're back, and... Uh, as you can see here, I have my Houston Texans box, and this one does have the FM radio right here at the top with the Bluetooth, but I didn't want to have to put an antenna on here because on the back I have all these decals and things that I wanted to put on here, and the antenna would have gone right here in this spot, and I really didn't want to mess up the decals and the looks of the box, so what I did was I made an internal antenna. And the way you do that is, let me, let me turn the box around here so you can see this a little better. Take some of this insulation out. Um, you see this blue wire that is uh, going around here in this big coil? That's about 30 feet of wire I made in a coil. That's called an FM coil or an FM antenna. And as you can see right here, let me bring the box over, you see the uh, yellow wire that's soldered into the board right here. That's actually the antenna wire coming from the decoder board and it comes down and it comes over here to the blue wire attaches and like I said it's about 30 feet of solid copper wire that comes in here and it, it works pretty good. Now you cannot do this on a metal box. A metal box will shield the antenna from the reception and it will not work very good. If you have a plastic box or you're doing a cooler, which I did this in one of my coolers, it'll work pretty decent. Now, you're not going to get the best reception inside of a building doing this, but if you're outside, this should work perfectly fine for tuning in you know, decent radio stations. So that's another option you have for an antenna. 
Now later on, I'm going to go into the details of how to hook up an antenna to these little FM decoders. If you want to go from this to this right here, a regular antenna. There is a little bit of a trick to it and there's a little adapter that you can buy and when my adapters come in I'm going to make a video about it and show you guys how to do it. But what I mainly wanted to do was give you all some education on antennas because I know antennas can be a little bit of a mystery and like again I saw several people put car antennas on wooden boxes and I, I really cringed when I saw the guy had the wire stuck in the back of the radio. I mean the guy had this beautiful beautiful setup. He's got a wire stick out of the radio. I mean, come on, y'all. These antennas, these antennas are ten dollars at Amazon. So don't spend three, two, three hundred dollars on your project and spend fifty cents on your antenna. You know, the, the antenna is just as important if you're going to have FM radio. Are you guys doing straight Bluetooth? This is not this video. It's just for educational purposes only. But you guys are serious about putting big radios in your projects? That would be great. This this is the way to go. Let me uh, let me pause this one more time, and I'll get my uh, zombie radio out here. Pull the camera back a little bit, to be able to see a little bit better what I'm talking about. Okay, we're back, and of course, you guys, if you've seen my channel, have uh, seen my zombie radio, uh, and of course, I do have a AM/FM radio right here with Bluetooth, and of course, I have the antenna. Now this this one was black and I actually painted it a green slime color and I kind of scuffed up the paint a little bit on purpose because I want this to look kind of rough. That's why you, you see all the, the dust and everything on this. I want this box to look like an old and a beat up zombie box but you can paint these antennas. Uh, one thing I'll tell you about painting them, especially this part right here, I'm not sure what this material is made of right here but for some reason when you go to paint it you need to take two steps number one is you need to take your scotch bright pad and you just scuff up the surface so the paint will stick and these things are very cheap you can get them at walmart hardware store wherever but if you're going to do any kind of painting of course you guys know i got several videos on painting so you see me using scotch bright pads now, a little something I want to tell you guys, I don't know why, I don't know what this material is made of, but when you paint these antennas, it takes about 72 hours for the paint to dry. Almost three days. I don't know why. I mean, it'll be, still be sticky, and it, it takes almost seven days for these to be completely dry when you paint them, to be able to touch it like this without getting paint stuck all over your fingers. Uh, the base part right here is metal. And that's okay, but for some reason, this I don't know what this material is, but it's very, very, it does not like paint. So you got to let the paint dry for at least three or four days before you can handle it. But other than that, I hope I've answered some questions about antennas. Uh, again, like I said, I'll, I'm just trying to educate you guys out there because I just was really uncomfortable when I saw people using car antennas on their wooden and plastic boxes like this. So if you're like me, there's a lot of plastic boxes. Go ahead and just get the marine RV antennas. They're not very expensive. Like I said, these are $10 at Amazon. And they work really, really good. And uh, leave me a comment below. What do you guys think about the zombie box here? Uh, like I said, you can see the video, the eyes left, the beat of the music. I actually got some overspray paint on here. I've scuffed up the box a little bit to kind of give it that rough look. And uh, look really cool. And uh, I really, really like it a lot. Looks really good. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. And uh, let me see if I can get this thing kick on real quick. My uh, fuse came loose there. But there we go. Come on now. Hey, I've got a loose connection. That's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And uh, my name is Phil, DIY Boomboxes in Texas. I hope I answer all your questions. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I try to put out a new video every week. And i got a lot of great projects coming up right now. I'm doing a Buffalo Bills box for a guy in the New York area. I've got a 
Air Force box that I'm going to be working on. Uh, you saw the other box that I'm going to be redoing. And we've got the Mega Boom box that we're working on right now. Um, we're going to be ordering the speakers uh, very soon. And I'm hoping to start on that around February. I'm going to be giving you guys a step by step follow up on the Mega Boom box. And uh, please find me on Facebook. I have a great Facebook group, uh, Builders. Or if you just want to see what everybody's talking about, see some great projects that are posted, or if you have a question about antennas or anything to do with uh, building a boom box, um, please uh, look us up. It's I Love All Things Radio. It should be right here on the screen. And we'd love to have you. Um, just, just tell them if you want to join, and I'll get you in the crew. And please don't ever hesitate to ask a question. There's no such thing as a dumb question. And we would love to have you. I, I love making these for people, but I also love educating people that are interested in making their own. I love helping people to uh, build them. I mean, I'm no expert by any means, but we have some, a lot of great experts on there. And um, one of the guys I recommend is 123Toid, T-O-I-D. Uh, check out his channel. He's got a lot of great how-to things. He does a lot of work with wood. So if you guys want to do some woodworking and uh, design your own boxes instead of going plastic like I do, He's got a fantastic channel showing you how to do that, how to, you know, use, use the best skills that you have to make some great wooden speakers or wooden projects. And if you like plastic ones like this or metal, I'll do my best to help you out as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great, great week. And uh, we'll see you next weekend with a new video. Talk to you then.